ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the Super Six World Boxing Classic, the Super Middleweights. The group stage first round matchups have been set. Carl Frotch will take on Andre Durrell. The BC title will be at stake. Known as the Matrix, Andre Durrell. We're here with True Fan Boxing. The first fight, which is against Carl Frotch, mm -hmm. final. That's in England. That's in England. And you have no qualms going to England? To nah, I mean, of course it's a little out of pressure. Of course it is. You know? And then on top of that, we'll be a little bit more nervous because it's a big stage. You know, I can't, I can't deny that. You know, right. but I just know I'm going to be prepared, prepared for it. And uh, my mental, all I got to do is have the right mental aspect. And I, and I well, you won on the road in the Olympics, so I'm yeah. sure. Exactly, I've sure been that and, and, and numerous times before that. I've been in England a few times. Every single time I went to England, I've won. So I don't make it. I don't think it's going to be any different when I go out there this time. You know. This is a true fan boxing. He would call Frog. You have a reputation of being a little old school. You go to someone's backyard, you beat up the guy, and you take away his belt. Uh, it's happened a couple of times. You're the front runner in the tournament. Why? Why? In, why do you go in the tournament instead of just saying to them, "Well, you come after my belt." Um, Why be involved in the tournament? I've got a feeling this tournament was going to take place anyway, with or without me. It wouldn't have been exciting, it wouldn't have meant as much if it took place without me, because I'm bringing a world title to the tournament. But when I find out Durrell and Ward were in the tournament, and with them being next in line for the belt, they're mandatory. That's what pulled me in, really, because I want to fight the next in line, I want to fight the mandatories, and I want the big fights. And the problem with this sport at the minute is too many people don't want to fight the next in line, and they don't want to fight the best. We, we offered... Um, Lucian Butte a fight, a unification fight. He didn't want the fight, so he priced himself out of it. Um, that upset me, that disheartened me a little bit. We're trying to get a fight with um, the great legend Bernard Hopkins, um, but realistically, he wasn't going to make the weight to challenge me for my WBC belt. And you've got Kelly Pavlik, who's a middleweight coming up, and what's happening with him. And, you know, he's, I don't know if he's got problems at the minute, but he seems to have gone off the radar. So to be involved in this tournament, for me, it's a fantastic opportunity, as it is for all the other players in the game. Um, to really establish himself on the world scene. I'm already established on the world scene, but who's, who's, who's next? Who am I going to fight? I mean, they're not, they're not queuing up, and if Darrell and Ward are coming in this competition, I'm coming after them, and uh, I'm champion, and I'm bringing, I'm bringing a title into this table.